All right, this is a Sterling engine fail. And this was something that uh, I wanted to make a video of. Uh, for all the guys and gals out there that have tried to make something and it didn't work. And you spent lots of time and lots of effort and some money on it. And it absolutely failed. And uh, this is day four that I tried to make that work. And it didn't work. And after I made this um, little thing that uh, Jim Larson's design, which worked fantastic, I thought, well, I can make one of these other designs, you know, in an afternoon and get it to work. It'd be great. Start working on that uh, limited uh, temperature differential engine. And I started working on it and started working on it and I got more and more into it and four days went by. And that's a complete failure. Uh, there's something inherently wrong with what I've done here and it looked like it would work. I mean everything on that looked like it was supposed to do what it was supposed to do and absolutely 100 percent failed. And uh, anyway the, the reason for this video is uh, failure is not a bad thing is if you use it correctly and I'll probably walk away from this project right now and I've done this before where you, know, you, you hit a brick wall and it's better just to walk away for a while and go do something else and perhaps come back to it. But um, there is a point in time when you're doing this hobby that if you continue to bang your head against the wall, you, you, you lose interest in the whole hobby. So uh, this has happened to me before. It happened to me on a suspension uh, magnetic levitation project. And I walked away for it for a long time and then came back to it and I was able to do it again. But uh, anyway, I just wanted to post this video on failure and how sometimes you can work on something that's been a lot of time and effort and it absolutely doesn't work. Uh, it can be a circuit or a machine or any kind of a project and uh, you don't know why and uh, you can go back and analyze it and take a look at different things but the bottom line is it was a failure and uh, especially when you go from something that was very simple uh, Jim Larson's great design here that worked very very easily and you go to something a little bit more complicated thinking it can't be that much harder and it completely failed and there's uh, some things horribly wrong with what I've done here and uh, maybe some of the guys can comment on uh, what they see in the video here but uh, it's a foam displacer and uh, some ball bearings on the on the shaft here and I've tried all different kinds of things in all different ways, but this was the biggest flaw right here, was using a flexible top. So all the pressure um, went away in the flexure of this. And perhaps that's the, uh, the worst part. Now the bottom part was metal, and the side was thick cardboard, but the top being the flexible plastic, I think I lost all my power in the flexing of this surface right here. Anyway, that's my theory. But anyway, um, for anyone out there that's tried some of my stuff and, and absolutely failed at it, I'm real sorry. And um, I feel your pain. Because like I say, this was four days work. Um, all day. And it completely failed. Keep at it. Thanks for watching. Bye.